Hi there. So if you are a woman who is unfortunately experiencing some urine incontinence or leakage, this video is for you. We hear from so many women at our pelvic floor physical therapy practice that have a lot of questions and uncertainty and they've been Googling information and they're just wondering, do I have to live with this? Forever. It's really common for women to need more guidance beyond what their doctors are able to provide them. And there's this whole specialty within the physical therapy realm that helps with retraining these muscles that make sure that we don't leak and dribble and have all sorts of embarrassing urine accidents. So I wanted to share with you a few different things to know about how physical therapy can help. So the first one I wanted to share is that Pregnancy and postpartum can certainly be a big cause of why women develop urine incontinence problems, but not always. So if you haven't been ever pregnant and you're still having leakage, that's okay too. We help women with that. But of course, with pregnancy, there's some major changes in the delivery process. Those pelvic floor muscles get stretched so significantly. There can be tears and trauma. And ultimately, these are muscles just like anywhere else in our body. And it's really common for them to need some physical therapy and some help to get back on track and back to normal after that postpartum period or delivery. So it's normal to have some bowel and bladder changes, especially in those first few weeks postpartum, but really we would expect those to be resolved within six to eight weeks. And if that's not happening, that's a great time to seek out help from a pelvic floor, especially physical therapist. So the other thing I wanted you to know is like I was talking about, these are muscles. And so signs of dribbling and leaking with maybe like coughing or jumping or running or sneezing or just throughout daily activities, it's usually because these muscles might be too tight or not strong enough or maybe not quick enough when we jump or cough or sneeze or their endurance might not be great to help you out and support your body after you've run more than a half a mile or something like that. So just know that, again, these are muscles just like anywhere else. They're supposed to contract and relax and do their job, just like doing a bicep curl or something like that. And there's lots of ways we can retrain them. And so that this leakage is just maybe not fond, but a memory of the past for you. The other thing I'd like you to know is that the bladder is also a muscle and that bladder squeezes to empty whenever we urinate and sometimes it squeezes at the wrong time. So that can happen when women are experiencing maybe this really strong urge to go as soon as they pull in the driveway or put a key in the door or maybe just random times throughout the day and they're racing to the bathroom and hoping they can get there on time we can help you retrain your bladder just like a puppy dog so that it knows you're in control and you don't have to worry about that. So know that that is something we can do too. The last thing I'd like to explain is about how the big picture of how our whole body is working together can influence leakage problems too. So things like even how we're breathing or our posture or how we are lifting and pushing and pulling and really stabilizing through our core will also affect leakage. So if our abdominals and our pelvic floor, both those muscles really encompass our core, are not drawing in and really stab stabilizing us nicely, it's common that we'll shrug our shoulders or arch our back and pooch out our tummy and bear down to lock things up and try to create stability instead. So that creates a ton of downward pressure and so that can really drive not only urine leakage issues, but prolapse problems. And when we're loosey goosey through our core, our joints take extra wear and tear and it can cause arthritis down the road too. So it's really amazing how our whole body gets affected by what is happening at our core and pelvic floor so much. So the good news is that a few sessions of physical therapy can usually take care of it and prevent all those problems down the road. So just know that if you are, again, looking online, you're wondering what to do, you're not feeling like you've got clarity or confidence or, you know, wondering about if what's going on in your body is normal, we would love to be a resource for you. I'd like to offer you a free phone consult with one of our physical therapists so you can get your questions answered and 
feel like you have clarity about a game plan moving forward to get back to feeling confident and strong and enjoying the active lifestyle without worrying about those pesky weeks. So thank you so much for listening and please let us know how we can help you.